Hi, George here. Do you ever get tired of the sounds that play inside of Minecraft Bedrock? Do you want to hear something different in there? Well, it's easy to do, and I'll show you how to change those sounds in this video. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to have a place to build our new resource pack, and we'll do that on the desktop. So let's switch over there to my desktop right now, and let's get started on making a new custom sounds resource pack. Okay, here we are on my desktop, and I have a new folder I made here. I just named the folder Bedrock Packs, and we'll build a pack right in here. Now, obviously, you're going to be needing your new sounds. I have one right here, Rooster Crow. We'll be using this one. And we're going to be changing the sound that happens when you pick something up inside of Minecraft. It's a standard player sound. Also, if you want to have your own custom icon, it's really easy to do. This is just a 128 by 128 PNG image. That's all that is. But I'll show you where you can get the default one if you want to. Now, the next thing we need in here is to get the sounds definition file. And for that, we're going to have to get the vanilla resource pack. And for that, we have to go onto the web. So I'll bring up a web browser. And you want to go to this page right here. I'll put this link in the description so you can click on the link and get right to this. This is all of the different releases in here. And you don't want any of these pre-release ones. So scroll down until you see one that says latest. Here we go right there. So the current latest is 121.60.10 as I'm making this video. That's when you want that says latest. And then come down here where it says assets and click on source code zip right there. We'll download this into our working folder. Right here, there we go. Choose save, and that's downloaded. Okay, let's go back over to that working folder, and here it is. Now, right click on this and open in a new window. So that's floating on top, just like that. There we go, let's open this up and come down here to resource pack, open that up, and here's the resource pack. Now we're gonna be needing a folder here that's named sounds. We'll leave that over here. Once we're inside here, we may or may not need an additional folder in here. Now, the one that I'm going to be going for, which is that pick sound, it's actually called pop, and it's down in the random sounds right down there. But to know where that is, you have to come down to the sound definitions JSON file. There it is. So let's get this set up partially, and then we'll continue that. Back over to your working folder. Let's make a new folder in here, and just call this one sounds. Open that up. And then copy that sound definitions file over here. Just drag and copy like that. There we go. And I know that we're going to be needing a random folder, so I'll make that right now anyway. New and folder. Random. There we go. Now, if you open up this folder in here, you're going to be seeing a bunch of sounds, but these all have this FSB sound format on there. Now, this is a special format that is used for putting sounds into video games, and there's nothing that you can do with that. You can't play that. I have seen some things online that say that they can play these things. It's a bit of a problem. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So we're just going to ignore all of that. But the names are correct. Just the FSB part is wrong. And if you type over that to type in .ogg, that's not going to work. So don't even bother trying that. It just won't work. We want the one that says pop right here. So that's going to be our file that we're going to be changing. Let me show you how that is taken care of. Okay, let's get rid of that. So let's first see why I'm saying that's the one that I want to have. And that's in the sound definitions file right here. Now it's a JSON file, and you need to see that .json on here. If you're not seeing that, go over to view, come down here to show, and click on file name extensions. You'll then see that. This is Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the tab at the top, click on the view tab, and then put a check next to file name extensions. Same thing. We're now seeing that. And I'll open this thing up. Now I'm running this inside of Notepad++. It's a free, very powerful code editing program, perfect for Minecraft. Just do a search on Google for Notepad++, and you'll find the download for this. And this has a lot of stuff in here. And these are the names of the files and the location. For instance, here is Click2. This is in Basalt Deltas. For clicks happening in Basalt Deltas, they have their own click sound right there. If I scroll down a lot further here, there's a lot of Basalt Delta stuff. Here's Nether Wastes, Moo. This is an ambient sound right there. You can see up here, Category Ambient. There it is. Here's a Category Block, and it's in the folder Sounds Block. This is Candle, and this is the ambient when a candle is in the room right there. So all these different things have all these different sounds. And the one I want is a long ways down the list. Let's keep on going all the way down. So all of your sounds are going to be in here someplace. For instance, right up in here are some of the music sounds. We'll keep on going down here. And we're going into the random section. There's all the random sounds. And these are really old sounds. So your oldest stuff is in here. 
and that is for a lot of the standard sounds that the player does when the player is doing the player stuff. For instance, here is the bow sound. This is the anvil use sound right there. There's the bow hit sound right there. There's the break sound, closed and chest open sound. So all your real basic stuff is in here. And the one I want says pop. These are all alphabetical. So I'll just keep on scrolling down until we find that. There we go. And you can see right here, that's the one that we want. Sounds, random, and pop. So we already made those two folders. And then that's going to be the name of our sound file. So any sound that is in the game, you'll find someplace inside of this list. And this will give you the folder it's in, the subfolder, and the name of the sound file right there. Okay, we've got that figured out. So I'll go back in here. Here's my sound. And this is an MP3 sound. It has to be in .ogg or .og format. MP3s don't work, OGs do work. You can't come in and just rename this OG. That's not gonna work. It has to be converted properly over to an OG file. Now, I like using a desktop program. It's called Audacity and it's free. Again, just do a search for Audacity and you'll find that. There's also a good online converter. It's called Convertio.co, but I prefer Audacity. Let's go ahead, we'll open this up in Audacity and I'll show you how this is done. It's real easy. Here we go, there's Audacity. Now the easy way to get sound files in here is just to drag and drop. So I'll just do that. Here we go. Notice that this is a stereo sound. It needs to be mono to work properly inside of Minecraft. And it has to be an AUG file. We can do all that in just one step. Go up here to File, come down to Export Audio. There's the name up there. I'll leave it as is for right now. And then we'll rename it when we need to. It's going to be in our Bedrock Packs folder. You could browse if you wanted to and find the specific folder. But we'll do it real obvious over in the folders section in just a second. This needs to be AUG Vorbis files and has to be in mono right there. Okay, choose export. We're done with this. Close that down. There's our AUG file. Now I know the name of the file we want is pop. So I'm just going to rename this pop like that. So it's pop.og. That's correct. Let's now put this in the right folder location. Just drag it over here, drop it in inside here, drag it and drop it into random right there. Let's just change our view while we're at it. There we go. So we have the random folder. There's our AUG file. There it is. And we have our sound definitions file in here. We don't actually need to have this in the pack, but I'll leave it here anyway. It's not going to hurt anything. And we need one more thing inside here, and that is a manifest.json file. And that allows us to name the pack and also give it the right coding. So let's find that. Back over here to our samples, right click on this. Open a new window, back inside here again, and back in resource pack. If you want to have the default green grass block pack icon, that's that one right there. And here's the manifest JSON. We need this file. Just going to drag that over here. There's our manifest JSON file. Okay, we're done with this. Close this down. Let's now open this up. And in here, we have two descriptions. One's up here and one's right here. These are the exact same thing. And we have a name right here. These are all going to say the same thing, but it should say what the pack is about, just to make it real obvious here. So I'm just going to change this one here to pop sound, and then I'll copy that. Right click and copy. Make sure that you're staying inside of those quotation marks and you don't lose those quotation marks or any other punctuation. It has to all be perfect for this to work properly and paste. I'll put it right down here as well. Right click and paste. There we go. And we also have these two UUID codes. And these are just like license plates on a car. They have to be different from any other car. These have to be different from any other pack. So we need to get our new codes. There's also two of these. Notice how these are different codes and not the same code. And you can get these for free on a website. Let me bring that site up. And it's right here, the uuidgenerator.net. Again, I'll put this link in the description. Let's go ahead and copy that code. Let's go back over to manifest file right here. And I'm gonna paste that right on top of that code there. Select that and paste. Notice I'm staying inside those quotation marks. Let's go back over here to the website, refresh the page. Here's a new code, copy, back over to the manifest. And this is our new bottom code right here. Right click and paste, and then save that. Okay, the manifest is all taken care of now. Notice that this is for 12160. This is our current version right there. So that's what that's all about. But since we got the new vanilla resource pack, this is gonna be correct for us. Okay, we can close this down rid of that. So the manifest is all set. We're now ready to build our pack and get it into the game and test it out. So let's grab sounds, hold the control key down, get that pack icon and the manifest JSON file. You need all three of those things. Right click, compress to zip file. There we go. Now in the zip file, click into the name, 
And then where it says .zip, change it to say .mcpack. Just like that. Click outside, choose yes, and you should see the icon change. If you don't, just go into a folder back out again. You should see it or hit the F5 key. It should refresh that icon. Let's now double click this and import this into Minecraft. Okay, it's importing right now. Import started and successfully imported pop sound. Okay, let's now see where I'm putting this. Click on play. Let's go into the game. I'll play my creative game right here and we'll launch in. Okay, here we are inside of Minecraft and let's just hear what the pick sound sounds like. I'm just going to toss my sword. There we go. And let's go ahead. We'll pick that up. And you hear that real kind of quiet pop sound? That's that pickup sound. Let's just toss that again. We'll do it one more time. There it is. Okay, let's now activate that new pack and we should hear our rooster sound. I'll hit the escape key, go into settings, and let's come down here to global resources and my packs. We should see our pack right here, pop sound, that's it. Now we need to add this into the active section outside of the game. Let's go over here where it says settings, click on that, go back one step. And in here, you're at the main menu screen, click on settings. Let's go down to global resources right there and my packs. And now we can activate this pack. Click on activate. It says activated. That's good. Let's go up here to active and double check. There it is. Okay. Let's back out of here. Let it load that resource pack. Go back into play. Back into our main world here. And let's try that again. There we go. We tossed it. There was a rooster sound. Let's pick it up. And there's a rooster sound again. So that easy to change your sounds here inside of Minecraft. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I do new videos all the time and I'll see you next time.